What the... What is this? Hello everybody, welcome to a new video, my name is Priest. Do you have this problem? I'm gonna help you to solve this very easily. Hopefully. Now, I'm not even gonna attempt to explain why this happens. Just let's not do it, let's not go there. Two possible solutions, but first I'm gonna give you a sort of a disclaimer, which is be careful who you trust. There are a bunch of websites out there, a bunch of tutorials, sources from random people that try to help you solve the problems, but all they do is make it worse. So be careful. Anyhow, let's get to the two solutions. First solution is you are probably Oh, let me just close this. You are probably missing a C++ redistributable... I don't know what this is, honestly. Ev but every time you install a bigger program, a newer game, it asks you to install Visual C++ redistributable 2015, 2019, blah, 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 blah. So you might be missing one of these. I don't know exactly which one you are missing. There are a bunch of versions from 2015, 16, 17. Here, just, just a moment, let me show you. While this is loading, let me just give you... a or attempt to give a little explanation why I'm saying this. Have you ever installed a certain game or something and it every time you install a game it asks you to install DirectX 9. For example, I, I remember when I was installing some older games it would usually prompt me to install DirectX. Some programs, some games come with these redistribution packages. I don't even know exactly what they are. But let me show you. So this is my, this is these are all the programs I have installed. And if I scroll to M You'll see I have Microsoft Visual C++ 2012 redistributable. Then there is 2013, there is 2010, 12, 8, 5, 5. See, there's a bunch of these that I simply installed along with the programs that I installed. So if there is a particular program or a game that doesn't work, try to reinstall the game and pay special attention if there's gonna be a prompt that's gonna tell you, hey, do you wanna install Microsoft Visual C++ some something something. I can't exactly tell you, hey, go ahead and install C++ from 2020. I don't know exactly if that's the version you need or if that's the solution. You can try that. Go ahead, simply open up Google and look for C++ redistributable 2020. See if that's available or 2019 and simply download it and install it. Maybe this one will help you out. Simply trial and error, but the best solution would be to reinstall the program or reinstall the game. And of course, to pay attention to the prompts, that ask you do you want to install these visual C++ redistributable packages. And there is also a solution number two, which was, I, I would say about 90% of the time, solution that worked for me throughout the years that I've used the computer. So here we have a program that I want to run, and if I open it up, it says this program can't start because this dot dll file is missing from your computer usually the solution is to simply download this particular file off of the internet and just place it in the same folder where the executable file is so let's try googling that here i'm just gonna leave it like this er.dll there we go you all you do and i'm, I'm gonna close this now just google for the name and now you gotta be you gotta pay some attention, be, be very careful, let me show you. Bunch of these websites usually are scam websites, usually trying to get you to download something to install a bunch of bloatware, spyware, may, maybe even viruses. But let me show you what you should be looking for to not get any issues. So let's try this website, DLL files, for example. So it gives me a bunch of stuff, don't even bother to read this. All you gotta do is look for the download button that's gonna allow you to download DLL file. Usually the DLL file will be, will be packaged in a zip or RAR archive. So let's see if that happens. Downloading. And let's see if it's, it starts in 2, 1. And what's, what is it? There we go. It downloads the zip package. And inside the zip package usually there's a file that I'm looking for. So let me unpack this. So right click, extract. And let's open it up. And there we go. We have our file. It's right there. And read me. Don't even bother opening this. You don't need this. Why should you read anything? Just copy this one and let's paste it next to the executable. Let's run it right now. And there we go. The program has just started. I'm going to do a quick test. By This is a gaming program. It simply allows me to play games. I'm going to do a quick test and run the game. And? And? There we go. The game starts. So that's how I know that the program actually worked. 
and everything's fine. So usually, as you just seen, as you witnessed, this is 90% of the times the solution that you are looking for. Just get the DLL file and place it next to the executable, but be very careful about the websites you, you visit. Do not download any stupid ass programs or anything like that. Just look for a file download. Look for any option. So look at this. Explains me what is Burut DLL. What do I care what is it? I don't care what it is. It really doesn't matter. So anyhow, looking for, where's the download? We have here, download. So I'm going to click it again, just going to show you. There we go. Again, it downloads me the zip package. So that's usually what you will find on these websites. And there we go. Here's another website. Let's see if, what, what does this one have? See, a bunch of method one. You don't, you don't care about these. All you're looking for is to download the actual file. So let's try here, download again. And here we go, downloading, it's gonna start hopefully, and there we go, again, it's the same file, it's the same name in a zip package, see, that's all you're looking for, it's gonna be either a RAR or a zip package, and all you gotta do is extract it, don't, don't bother yourself by looking at random files out there, at readme, uh, some random executable files that you might download, uh, DLL fixer, and a bunch of these stupid programs, don't look for those, just look for a straight, direct download, uh, I think you got it. Don't want to over explain this. I think it's pretty self explanatory This is how I've been doing it for years now. I always make sure that I install everything that comes along with a program or a game that I am installing. So for example, if there is a DirectX prompt, I install it most of the times. If there is a Visual C++ pop-up window that asks me, hey, do you want to install this? I usually do install it. If I do that, I'm not going to run into these issues. But if I do, I just download a DLL file and this is how I've been fixing it like this for years. And it just bothers me to see so many nonsense out there and you know people are running into issues do not download these stupid programs random ass programs just, all you got to do is download the dll file why would you need random program what's the point you don't need to go to church you can talk straight to god you know you get it uh, uh, we, we understand each other there you go that's some food for thought right there <laughs> all right I'm not here to convert anybody relax not a christian channel people relax i just like the nickname priest that's all anyhow thanks for tuning in hopefully this solves your issues that got weird but yeah hey that's about it. If you like this video, consider subscribing to the channel. I release a bunch of other tutorials that help out people. This is just another issue I ran into, another bullshit of the world, I don't know why, uh, but I took it upon myself to solve these, and there we go. One step further to clarity, people. Check out my channel because I have a bunch of other bullshit solving videos. Hopefully none of them are fake. I always try to release videos that work, so that's it. Thanks for tuning in, bye-bye. Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow, till I finally prove it Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving Keep my head up when I act, head up, that's a fact Never looking back, I'ma keep my